I am going to test out a theme from my site myway.com and I'm on their website right now looking at the modular theme. I went through and I picked out a theme that I wanted. So I looked at the demo and I looked at the admin panel options. There are a lot of options here. And a lot of key features as well. So I have it in my account. So I've downloaded it and I placed it into a local site I am building called Easy Web Design Tutorials, which hasn't been updated in a while. I'm basically just testing out a few things with it. So I'm just going to go into that right now. And I have installed the theme. And this is what the theme looks like. Uh, when you see it, it already has the content in it and it just gives you a startup look of it so you can just modify the look as you want them. So this is the front end of these web design tutorials. In the back end here, uh, a little while ago I deinstalled or deactivated Modeler and activated 2011 so I'm going to activate Modeler again and what happens when when you activate a theme from them you'll go straight into their settings area here so either you can add a custom logo or display display site title so here it says click here to edit the site title so this is the site title and I'll just change this I'll just add some some uh, WordPress tutorials Let's see, WordPress and Adobe Tutorials. And I'll just save it. And I'm going to go back into this area here. So we can upload image, upload the custom and favorite icon. And here says intro default options. And what this is, I'm going to remove this then. So, okay, here we have had the front end. I'll go to the home page. Okay. So it says get your uh, site up and running even quicker. So, in the back end here, here says the teaser text. And teaser text is then, let's see, we'll just modify this. And remember also that you, there are question marks with pop-ups, and this is great. So you just read about the different options, what they are. So when you make some changes, and just save them. And I'm going to go here then, and then do a refresh. So I have my title in place. So basically just look at the various options here and for it. and because here we also have the type uh, sidebar on the right side home page. Okay, so we have the home page here and this okay because what we have right here is teaser text so I'll go to another page that's not the home page. default teaser text option. Okay, so that's what the text we were looking at right here. So, um, text uh, that will be placed on each page except the home page. Okay, save it. Okay, so we have this text here and then this theme also includes breadcrumbs. Breadcrumbs is, as you see right here, we're in about page. One step back is then the home page. So if I go to one of these pages here, we'll see Photoshop, go one step back to Adobe, and then home. So for instance, WordPress intro, introduction to WordPress, we'll go back to WordPress this way. So breadcrumbs is just a way to see where you are in the page structure.
add the Twitter name if you want. Header extra, uh, extra header text. We'll see where that is located. Connect with us. That's what it says right here. Connect with us. Okay. Home page. Layout. Uh, no sidebars. Sidebars on the left. Sidebar on the right. Call to action. Hi. Uh, you have now reached easy web design tutorials so save that go to the home page and and there it is hi you're right now we should you with some tutorials you can get it now okay that means there's a link define a custom link disable button and we'll remove it and this is then a link to wherever on the page custom home page uh, text and this is great because here you can have your own special custom home page text so we'll see what that is three boxes or three columns with some text underneath each box so that means one third there's a header it's a default text, a checklist as you see it, and and the one third and one another one third and header two. So this is what you see right in here on the bottom. So as I said, there's a lot of options to play with. Skins and let's see here can choose different colors. Let's see, go for blue for instance, activate skin. And we have the grayish crawler here, our brown gray. Let's do a refresh, and suddenly it is blue. Okay, so as you see, there's a lot of different colors in here. We'll just put it on orange and activate it and look at that in just a moment. And here you can also create a skin, manage skins. But I'm just going to do a run through of Modeler 2.2 here. There's the documentation on their website and support for them as well. Image resizing. Um, as you see, it will resize different images if you have full width layout, right side mm, sidebar layout, or left sidebar layout. Slideshow. They also have a slider in here. Uh, there are various sliders here just check it out and it is then right here and we'll just switch it out with for another one and maybe a slider and save all changes and refresh okay now we have a full screen slider maybe a slider but there are no images in here I haven't added any yet blog this is the blog page how I want the layout to be placed so if I for instance do one on the main on top and then smaller along the middle or split in two columns below layout exclude categories Ooh, this is nice I can choose which categories I want to exclude so I can exclude whatever categories I want here and they will be listed below here this is a real nice feature Popular and related posts, this is nice. Tab layout. So, uh, I say it again, there are a lot to discover in here. So, create new sidebar. I'll just call it another sidebar. Okay, add sidebar. Footer. So, there's very options for the footer. copyright text if I want so let's see what the footer looks like today this is the footer today one two three four and then section on the side here and that's what you see one two three four and section on the side right there switching around and do a refresh 
So I happen then to remove this area. I'll just I made it bigger and add these three. Let's see. And this will also change and in, in the widgets area here. When I go and look at widgets, this will then change depending on options I do here, how many footer areas I want. Okay, we have two. So I need to just add some more content into this area here on the left. Or I can just take it back as it was default. I'll go to sociable, add new sociable. I want to add a uh, Facebook. I'll do uh, 24. I can do a custom icon if I want. Link all text. So I'm just change and uh, save this. And it also has SEO. So it's basically just fill out general for your page and there's other pages below here. Specialty pages four or four. So I can choose the layout, custom sidebar. Choose one. I need to make one then. Background. And this is only when you get an error for for error on your site. Then you'll have these options here. You can have search page if you want, or our archive page. I'm just gonna save as it is now and go to response and mobile. So just look at different options here. Mobile custom CSS. I go to advanced custom admin logo. So that means I can change this logo right here, I believe. Okay, I'm gonna go to some of the pages then. I have I'll go to Adobe page. Adobe section. Okay. Short code. I can have also choose from different layouts. Custom background. This is nice. Full screen background or fading full screen background. This is interesting. I haven't tested this yet. Custom sidebar. I'm going to add this in and just see what happens. Short code. I'm going to add column layout. Two column layout. So I have two sections. This is this is the left column. This is the right column. Okay. Send short code to editor. It places this up here. update the page and let's look at it. Here's the other page and we have a left column and a right column. And here we have my Facebook icon up on the top here. Okay, what else do I want to look at right now? There are so many things I can do and there's so many short codes as well. So I'll look at tabs. Frame tabs, see what that is. Remember tabs uh, two. Uh, tab one. Content of tab one. Tab two. Content of tab two. Okay, update page, and then I'll do refresh here. Tab one, tab two. And it looks okay. Uh, but I can make some custom CSS uh, to manage the tabs and other things as well. Here it says tab area. So, okay, I'm just going to stop this tutorial here or just run through our modeler. You get a certain impression of what it can do and I just kind of scratched just barely of the surface so